Today, in this session, we shall learn the design and the setup of a series voltage regulator without feedback. Series voltage regulator. This circuit will not have any feedback. The circuit diagram is this. The input voltage V in with a certain range that we will decide later and series element a transistor Q with output resistance RL. Here a general resistor, the general diode is connected and a resistance called RB. This is the basic circuit. Now, the objective, the aim of the circuit is this. From the given input voltage, which varies from 15 volt plus or minus 5 volt, from this input voltage, we have to get an output voltage of 8.5 volt. We select 8.5 volt. And the output current IL is equal to 500 milliampere. So, this is our objective. So, first thing is to decide upon the active elements. So, we shall select selection of transistor Q. Transistor Q. So, which one we should select? See, current, that is a major criteria. The current is 500 milliampere and uh, that is an NPM transistor. So, we shall select 2N3055. Refer its uh, uh, data sheet and uh, know all the parameters. We will find the HFE. HFE is 2270. 2270. Uh, now, <coughs> the general, general diode. General. Selection of general. What should be the voltage? We have different general voltage available. You know, here the transistor is in emitter fallover mode because the output is taken from the emitter terminal and this is the VB. We know this is VO with respect to this point. Uh, this is VEZ uh, in this manner. So, the output to volt, the VEZ, we can find the VEZ is nothing but this plus this. This is the output to regulator DC voltage VO and that is expected to be 8.5 volt. So, VZ should be 8.5 volt plus that VB emitter follower should have 0.5 to 0.6 voltage. So, it should be 9.1 volt. So, we can select a general diode of 9.1 volt. So, we selected the active elements, devices. Now, we shall see what is RL, design of RL. Design of RL. Design of RL is simply Ohm's law. Voltage VO divided by the current. VO by IL or IO, whatever we write. IL is flowing through RL. VO is 8.5 volt and IL is 500 milliampere. So, that is working out about 17 ohms. So, we shall select a standard value RL, 18 ohms. But naturally, since this current is small, its power rating naturally may be high. So, we shall find out what is the power rating of the diode. Power rating of RL, that is IEL square into RL. IEL square is 0.5 ampere, 0.5 ampere into RL is uh, that uh, 17 ohms. We can now use that this value though we select 18. This can be about wattage of 4.25 wattage. So, we, for safety we can select a uh, resistor 18 ohms, 5 watt or 10 watt. So, we will select and use it here. Or otherwise we will use a rheostat. Rheostat, uh, rheostat 
uh, having 500 ohms, this uh, 1 ampere or 2 ampere capacitive rheostat we can use. Now, what is remaining is the RB. RB, RB again using ohms law, RB is the voltage across this divided by current through that. Let the current is IRB, which is diverted into uh, IZ and IB base current. So, IRB, the RB is voltage across RB, voltage across RB we can call it VRB by that IRB. Uh, we can uh, find that the VRB is nothing but V in minus V in minus the voltage at this point V is V is by IRB. IRB is nothing but sum of IZ and IB. IZ plus IB. But remember this V in can have two values, maximum value and minimum value. Maximum value for example, if this is V in max minus that uh, Vz is now uh, 9.1 volt divided by Iz plus Ib. Iz, the uh, data sheet will show that uh, the Iz is uh, 10 milliampere and uh, the Ib, Ib we can calculate from uh, Ie because Ie is flowing through this. So, Ie is nothing but Il, Ie is nothing but Ic. So, we know IB is IC by HFE or similar same way IE by HFE or IL by IL by HFE. IL is 500, 500 milliampere. So, 500 milliampere by this minimum HFE 20 uh, that is the IB. That IB uh, will be about uh, we can calculate later. So, this correspondingly Rb max and this is Iz 10 uh, milliampere plus this Ib, Ib is Il by HFE and similarly we will get Rb minimum V in max similarly here V in minimum minus the same fixed general voltage here by 10 milliampere plus IL by HFE. These wall currents correspondingly may vary, but we can approximate to this. And respectively here, putting these values 500 milliampere, HFE 20, this uh, maximum value 20, minimum value 10 volt, then we will get uh, the maximum value of maximum value of 311, 311 ohms and 26 ohms. So, we can take an intermediate a med, a medium value in between uh, value between these two like Rb, we can select Rb is equal to 100 ohms. Uh, and this particular resistance uh, from a glance on the current about uh, 35 milliampere point through, this resistance power rating is uh, quarter watt because it will be less than quarter watt, very much less than quarter watt. Uh, this is it. Now, what is remaining? is setting up the circuit after verifying the components and for measuring this voltage this is uh, this one will measure me in we need a voltmeter with uh, plus or and minus here 0 to 30 volt because this one we select 0 to 30 volt actually we will uh, fix from 10 to 20 so 0 to 30 volt 0 to 30 volt voltmeter and here also we have to have that voltmeter connect here a voltmeter 0 to 30 voltmeter and here you can use an ammeter ammeter with plus and minus here DC ammeter all are DC uh, meters and this can be 0 to 1 ampere. Now the design and uh, circuit setup is all over now we have to do the procedure. The procedure is to observe the variation of output current 
A variation of the output voltage VO with respect to VH. So, we shall have a tabular column VI and VO for a fixed uh, uh, current through. We can fix it up at uh, rated current 500 milliampere that uh, IL 500 milliampere we fix it up and take the readings, take the readings and plot the graph with uh, VI here and VO here both are in volts we will find the variation as the input voltage varies a slight variation will be there and its slope we can get to the slope a change in output voltage to change in input voltage VI is the line regulation regulation delta VO by delta I and into 100 percentage so we will get percentage line regulation percentage line regulation you can obtain from this graph Similarly, next thing is to find the load regulation. For that, uh, we have to find the output voltage and corresponding output to current for a current varying from current varying from zero to maximum rated current. Rated current is 500 milliampere, so we can vary from zero. Zero in the sense there is no current. That means it is open. So we will find uh, IL zero corresponding output to voltage that will be usually maxi uh, maximum as you connect this circuit this resistance and vary this current until 500 milliampere or uh, a little more than that we will get these values and then correspondingly you draw the characteristics characteristics you can draw like this with uh, 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 V i here and I l here you will get a character but you should have to start the voltage from uh, minimum voltage of 10 volts there is no point in starting from 0 volt if you start otherwise you will get a graph like this so start from 10 volt so you will get a graph something like this a graph something like this uh, actually this is a straight, some kind of straight line this potential corresponds to V no load that means that uh, rheostat is open and somewhere here correspondingly here 500 500 milliampere let, let the rated current IL you will get this so this this will give you the load regulation that is load regulation load regulation in percentage you will get V no load minus V full load by V no load so you can find V no load V full load full load corresponds to uh, 500 milliampere V no load V full load by full V no load you will get a percentage so this way you can uh, set up the circuit uh, experiment on it after designing get the line and uh, load regulation so other aspects of uh, um, circuit de design and other uh, examination questions viva questions etc we will discuss in another session